Good morning everyone. I am Dr. G.K. Bedi. Well, there are a number of myths as regards to IVF and the treatment of IVF. So let me try to explain to you or enumerate the myths which I have in mind and I would like to convey to all of you. Number one, IVF is the only treatment or the best treatment option for all infertility cases. So that is a myth. As I told you before, IVF is not the only treatment, but of course, all the other treatments, if failed, can lead to IVF treatment, which gives a very good success in pregnancy. Second, IVF, they say, is 100% successful. Like when they say, okay, you've come to a doctor and tell the doctor that, okay, give me an IVF treatment. So they say that, acha 100% success ho jayega. IVF does not guarantee 100% success. IVF guarantees a success ranging from around 35% to around 60% to maybe 70%. Now, why is it so? Because pregnancy per se depends on so many factors. It could depend on the age of the female patient. It could affect on the hormonal status of the female patient. And of course, various other things like the shape of the uterus, the presence of fibroids, the presence of good eggs, that is the egg formation should be regular. The hormone levels are very, very important. And of course, in the male, we need a good semen. So it is not that IVF can give you a 100% successful pregnancy, but yes, we can give you a good success rate because we always tell our patients that something like an IUI will give you a 10 to 15% success rate whereas IVF can give up to about 60% success rate also if all the parameters are met with. Now the expense part of IVF, patients say it's very expensive, it's unaffordable but I don't believe in that also. IVF per se is not very expensive, it fits in the budget easily. You don't need to get admitted into any hospital. You don't need the operation theater, that is you don't have to be under the knife. So there's no cut on your body, there's no stitch on the body. It's a daycare procedure wherein you're admitted for about 4-5 hours at the time of the pickup, that is the OPU we call it, and at the time of the transfer, again another 3-4 to four hours, you have to stay in the hospital. So I would like to tell you that IVF is a simple procedure as far as the OPU is concerned, the injection taking is concerned and the embryo transfer is concerned. Another myth which I would like to bust is, that IVF can lead to multiple pregnancies. Well, it's a partial myth. I do agree with it that IVF does give a slightly higher rate of multiple pregnancies, could be twins or triplets. By controlling the number of embryos which we implant in the lady, we are decreasing the multiple pregnancies. In India, of course, people don't mind twins, so we don't mind giving two embryos. And another thing which people say, that IVF babies are born with defects. Again, I would like to say no. The success of IVF is good. The number of defects are the same as in a normal population. Like if I say congenital defects are in a normal population to the tune of 1% or 1.5%, it would more or less the same in an IVF or an ICSI patients. So we have not seen a number of congenital defects which are harmful to the baby in these ART procedures. Another myth which I would like to bust today is that all IVF pregnancies lead to 100% cesarean sections. Well, no, 100% cesarean sections are not warranted at all in IVF. Yes, if the patient wants or patient desires a cesarean, at times the doctor is forced. Though, of course, we try ourselves to counsel the patient that, okay, if everything is good, it's always better to have a normal delivery. But in a few cases, due to medical reasons or due to twins or due to abnormal presentation of the baby inside, it could be a breech presentation, it could be an oblique presentation, we might have to tell the patient to go in for a caesarean. So I think IVF per se is a simple procedure. It's a safe procedure and it does guarantee a pregnancy to the tune of about 35 to 65 percent depending on the age of the patient, the status of her uterus, the status of her ovaries, how many eggs she has and of course the male partner has to be really fit 
the semen should be there the semen should have at least a few motile sperms in a few cases we do not find very motile sperms or active sperms but that's enough for us even about 5 6 10 active sperms can give us a pregnancy we have a lot of pride in saying that yes whatever we are doing we are doing good work and this work is possible only because of a team we've got a beautiful team we've got a team of embryologists we've got a team of clinicians we've got a team of genetic counselors so all these constitute what we call in our idf program as the core team thank you so much